Do you think they are coming? Against the fascist invaders. Carefully follow the instructions of your sergeants, officers, and political officers. Also, take heed of Comrade Stalin's order. Not one step back. Never give up a single meter of our sacred soil to the Hitlerites. Remember that the eyes of the workers and the peasants are upon you. Remember that your mothers, wives, and sweethearts depend upon you. Remember that the motherland expects you to do your patriotic duty, even at the cost of your own life. Also, remember that you, comrades, not only soldiers of the great Red Army, but guards, a title won by valor in combat. Now, comrades, go forth and visit vengeance upon the invaders. Hurrah! Captain Lark, commander. Are you ready to attack? Da. The Germans are surrounded. Kill them all. I hate that music. It's better than the silence. When they stop playing, they can visit. How much longer can we wait? They're not leaving our wounded behind to them. So we wait. When did the high command ever let us down? <laughs> so true. Yeah. Yeah, Volker! Man! The Russians were attacking the hospital position. Damn it. On the treaton! Captain, is there a relief column on the way? They're coming. I have to get these men out as quickly as I can. Some of them are badly wounded. If I can get them to a regular field hospital, they have a chance. But here, I'm not so sure. I know.
thank him and hum the Bahala. I haven't seen any Valkyries around here looking for you. But you are going home. Tomorrow. Until then, you have people right here depending on you. Okay? Let's get back to our line. Come on. Come on, come on! Heinz! Klaus! What the hell happened? We got one over here. There's another one coming up the road. He's coming straight here. I'm gonna go play rabbit. Getting another first shot. Okay. Yes. You get one shot. Yes, yes, yes!
Russian over there! Russians in my trench. No. No, waiting is over. Idiots. safest place. This is my country. Oh, 
no luck with the young ladies? <sighs> the French are not very hospitable. Not anymore. Air Field Marshal, our defenses are in a sorry state. We must keep the Panzers at Calais. General, I need the Panzer divisions to be in Normandy. Field Marshal, Captain Mueller to see you. You are dismissed. Send him in. Hi, Hi love. Is there good days and there bad days? I see. Field Marshal. You may relax, Captain Mueller. I have heard much about you. Welcome to France. Thank you, sir. May I say it is an honor to be here. As you may have already guessed, this is a far cry from Russia, Captain. Indeed I have. Now, I am glad that here in the middle of all this nonsense, there's at least one other soldier with actual combat experience to draw upon. Sadly, the fatherland have little else to offer these days. Captain? General. Good to see you again. You have shared the same dirt together, I believe. Yes, indeed. Instead, I ended up back here, a lazy general, while Miller stayed in the dirt. Well, I'm sure you've noticed the readiness of our forces here in Normandy. They do seem rather unprepared. My God. Half the men here are either Russian, Ukrainian, or Polish. They'll scatter like flies in the wind at the very first sign of approaching danger. And not only that, what we do have is squandered for nothing. Here, the Air Force has spent a half year's supply of cement building a gigantic bunker to protect the radar. This does nothing at all to protect the radar itself. And yet... Marshal, how may I best serve you? You have first-hand knowledge of the dynamics of combat and strategic defense. I know, for example, you managed to make it out of Stalingrad, which could not have been an easy task. I want you to inspect our defenses here and give me a report on how they can be improved. I will be honored to help in any way that I can. Gentlemen, Hi Hitler. Field Marshal. I have some information for you. You always have something for me. But it never seems to be anything I can use. Who is this man? Uh, this is Captain Mueller, fresh from the battle on the Eastern Front. He has been brought in to inspect our defenses. And how did you escape the front? By accident, I'm sure. A grenade landed in my trench. But I'm sure you know all about the rigors of combat. Do you not? That's left for others. Very hilarious. Captain, General Franks here will uh, show you the layout of the countryside. Thank you, sir. Captain, I presume we will meet again. Look for me at the front. That's where I'll be. How fortunate! You know, you don't want to make this man your enemy. He's the head of the Gestapo here. I know. I don't like people who spend more time chasing their own than they do the enemy. Damn it, Klaus. Not only once I've heard you were killed in a battle. And when I found out you were wounded in a local hospital, I did everything I could to get you here. And I do owe you my gratitude for that. And I owe you many times, my friend. But this whole thing... It's not going very well. We have to convince the higher command to use the old resources to repel an invasion on the beaches. Why is that so hard for the old man to push through? Because it's all politics, Klaus. The armed forces are run by politicians. Everybody's afraid to give up some power. They're all hungry for more. Nobody wants to admit they might be wrong and lose their face in front of the fear. So it's the same shit it always was. There are wars run by desk generals who never shed any blood in any dirt, ever. That's right. Of course it is. That's why you and I, we have to make the most compelling report that the field marshal can present to Hitler himself. I see. I understand. Good. I'll do my very best. 
Danke. So, Klaus, what is the shortest joke in the world? What? We are winning the war. Most of the war production goes straight to the Russian front. I understand, but driving in here all I see is 10, 15 different types of weaponry. This is a logistical nightmare. Well, out of necessity, we have to use the captured equipment. Of course. At least we have some time before an invasion, I hope. What I have for you is this. The division breakdowns. So, pay attention. Most of the ammunition will come exact... Are you... Excuse me, Dylan. Are you paying attention, class? Yes, I am. We need bandages, we need tourniquets, we need morphine. Anybody you know? I believe it is. Yes. These French ladies are giving our guys something that can only be cured with penicillin. Fulain Sheila, are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. Yes, Doctor. I've got the penicillin. And, uh... Claudia, what was that about? That was Klaus. to see such a healthy man like yourself here on behalf of the field marshal of course I am on an inspection tour if you could spare a nurse to show me around good morning captain doctor what are you doing in here today another inspection doctor I am here on behalf of field marshal Rommel of course do you think you could have a nurse show me the facility naturally it's not as if we're very busy today Rita can you take care of this for me I still have a few reports to fill out. I think Claudia have time. Of course. Frau Langella. Yes, doctor. This gentleman is here on official inspection. Show him around. Of I'm glad to see you recovered. I'd heard that you were killed in Russia. I was only wounded, I assure you. I just arrived today. Letting the girl know that you are safe and sound, waiting at home for you, is of paramount importance. Wouldn't you agree? I wrote a most romantic letter from Russia. I take it she did not receive it? No. No, she did not. I assure you the very last thing I would ever do would be to cause concern on the mind of the woman I love. I'm sure she will be glad to hear it. But let me show you the inventory room, Captain. That will be a good place to stop your inventory. So, 
Does your father still hate me for seeing you? It's hard for him. You're both so different. I understand. But when we get married, and this whole thing is over, he's gonna have to come to terms with that. Could you imagine if he'd been stationed here under me? Family life we would have. I thought you knew. He's stationed here. He was drafted last year. <laughs> Your dad is here? I'm afraid so. You think I should go talk to him? He is as stubborn as I am. What do you think? I think we should get you transferred away from Normandy. This is not a safe place. Because of the invasion? Yes. We don't have anything to stop them with here. And I don't want to lose you. I've been through bombings and evacuations. I never lost hope. I'll be damned if I have to move again. I'm not gonna lose you. I've made up my mind. If you stay, so do I. You haven't changed, have you? What made you think I ever would? I hope and pray to God every day that you won't. Capitan. Go away, he's busy. Is he still there? Unfortunately. You are needed immediately at headquarters. Thank you, Corporal. I'll be right there. This really is a disaster waiting to happen. This is Stalingrad all over again. We know they're coming, they're not ready, they're not preparing. Not enough, my friend. Not enough. Listen, Klaus. Major Friedman is showing our positions to Field Marshal Rundstadt today. Now, Friedman is okay. He saw some combat before. But Rundstadt, I'm afraid he's more his last. So, don't bother trying to convince him in anything. Now, would I possibly take it upon myself to lecture a field marshal of the army? Yes, you would. I'd do my very best to keep my mouth shut. Though. <laughs> I doubt that very much, my friend. What the hell are you doing? I'll have you on the first train to Russia. Russia. There is no more Russia, you idiot. We have lost it. Lost it, I'll have you shot. I'll shoot you myself. Sergeant. Yes, Captain. Perhaps you would like me to deal with this man. For you? Please. Ursula? Ursula? It's been a long time. I know Claudia was very worried about you. We have spoken. I'm sure that you have. Well, she was quite concerned about you. Listen. Captain, I know you mean well, but this war is lost, and I do not want you or any of your lot near my daughter. Can I tell you this? I love your daughter. I do. And I will marry her when this war is over. I would prefer you there as opposed to rotting in a Gestapo prison. Is that all, Captain?
Good morning, Sergeant. Captain Mueller? How was your beach? Can I be honest with you? I would prefer that. We can't get any of the supplies that we have asked for. We can't even get enough concrete to finish the bunkers. We're all exposed here. So it is as it always is. Show me what you have. Yes. I can't believe you ended up here. It is so romantic. I know. I am so happy. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Frieza. Have you heard from Heinz? No. But I did receive a letter from his friend during the battle for some stupid Russian city. They were separated. He thinks he may be with a different unit now. It's just now that Klaus made it back. Maybe my Heinz will too. Fräulein Schiller. Good morning, Fräulein. Good morning, Herr Brahms. What can we do for you today, Herr Brahms? Oh, well, uh, I can think of many things. Uh, first off, we should be uh, not so official. I'm merely here to look out for your well-being. Thank you, Herr Brahms, but I'm well taken care of. Good, then. Then maybe you'll join me for dinner tonight. Thank you, but I have plans tonight. They can be changed. They're with a fiancé. Air Brahms. And who might that little boy be? We met before the war. I'm quite safe, I can assure you. You're still my favorite. Well, boys, I guess it's a drink on the Gestapo, yeah? Yeah, yeah. all right. Germans were bad people. <laughs> I doubt that you ever said that, Serge. But not even Hitler and his minions can stop a free trade. You're right. He did not say that. <laughs> but thank you for the supplies. And for you, madame, some cigarettes <laughs> and some silk stockings. If there's ever anything you can bring to us, we have many needs here. Well, if your people would stop blowing up the railways, more would get through. <laughs> a sign of the times, my friend. Listen, Serge. I'm not an idiot. I know something is going on. And I do not approve of Hitler any more than you do. But there are many like me, the German army. When I find it safe, I will send word for you. Not all Germans are bad, Serge. Most of us have no choice but to be. As long as it ends, what I you can join us anytime you like. Schiller, how is your French? <clears throat> Take him away from here. Would there be anything else, Field Marshal? No, I believe that would be fine, Miss Godfrey. Thank you very much. Come in. Field Marshal? Captain, nice to see you again. Thank you. What are your initial reactions, please? It seems the Western Front is of little importance, if you will excuse the directness of Field Marshal. I have little time for courtesy, Captain, with the Allied waiting across that pond of water, just waiting to attack us. Now, what do you recommend? There are resources being spent here, but they are not spent well. There are bunkers in the open, there are dugouts not ready. They will never hold up to an attack. Yes, I agree. It is hard when only half of them are German. 
They are poorly trained, and they have very little desire to fight. Well, we shall start again when I return. Berlin Field Marshal? No, today is my wife's birthday. We can hardly neglect our better halves now, can we? Indeed, we cannot. And besides, the weather forecast has informed us that there is a storm coming. The Allies would be foolish to launch under such circumstances. Agreed. Are you married, Captain? No, we decided to wait until the war was over. Do you love her? Indeed, I do. Mueller, never put off something that important. One never knows what the future may hold, and there is nothing grander than love. Ben, did you hear? I'm sorry, I'm late, Doctor. I can explain. To your father, Gestapo. He gets worse. The Gestapo man is here to talk to you. Scheiße. Are you sure you don't have any Jewish blood in you? Maybe we should uh, reevaluate your blood. Privacy, please. There's a lovely Miss Schiller. Would you have a moment in my quarters, please? Thank you. I can imagine how I feel that such a beautiful specimen has a father who's a traitor. not ammunition for yes yes 
Yes. There's something you would like to ask me. How was the Eastern Front, Captain? It was not as nice as here. Just be happy this is where we are. Well, my brother is there. I don't hear much from him. The mail service is terrible. I saw on the newsreel last night that we're beating the Russians back. All the way to Moscow. Let's just wait and see if those Englishmen dare to come here. We have thrown them back to the sea as well. Captain, we'll be all right here, won't we? Well, of course we will. We're sitting on the best old fort the French could build. <laughs> God willing, we will all be well. And go back home. They arrested him. Your father. They took him. I have to go to Brahms tonight. No, you don't. I will get your father out. And you are leaving Normandy tonight. No. Yes. I have to go to my father. Claudia, I will take care of this. You have to trust me. I will get your father out. I'm sorry. Claudia. me to do this. I will get your father out. I will take care of this. You can't fight the Gestapo alone. For you, I can. Other sectors appear to be covered as best we can with the resources that we have at this time. But... Yes? Excuse me, General. Do you have a moment? Naturally, Captain. How do I order? Don't care. What's wrong? General, the Gestapo have arrested my future father-in-law and that Brahms is coming after my future wife. What in God's name for? Before the war, apparently he had some involvement with the communists. And being a stubborn, stubborn man as he is, have a hard time leaving the past in the past. But I can hardly let them shoot him just for that, can I? I see. What do you suggest? I need you to arrange a transfer from Mrs. Schiller off Normandy today. Consider it done. In your desk here, General, I'm sure perhaps you have a requisition form for a black SS officer's uniform, would you not? Perhaps. General, have you had a chance to try the strudel in the mess lately? It is very good. I am an army general, and I don't have a chance to try any strudel, my friend. Who's the officer of the day? Captain Minor, sir. Minor! Yes, sir, an agent. How can I be of service to you? Where is my prisoner? I'm sorry? Schiller, why is he not ready yet? I was not informed of your arrival. Informed? I have no time or patience for that type of incompetence. You bring me the prisoner, Schiller, here. Now, where are you taking him, if I may ask? You may not ask, but if you wish, you can call Miller in Berlin and ask him yourself. No? No. Then I suggest you bring me Schiller right down. Yes, sir, Major. Retrieve the prisoner and Schiller now. Yes, sir. Put him in my car. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks. 
sudden, that was the end for me. The end for you? What were you thinking? Now you listen to me, Now you listen to me. For all these years, I have waited patiently for you to accept a marriage between myself and your daughter. Now I may not be proud of what my fatherland has become, but I am proud of being an officer for it. And at least I am not stealing from the army, getting myself arrested. What about her? I was very discreet. It was discreet the Gestapo have sent for her. I told you this would happen, didn't I? I did not plan to. Of course you didn't. Sir, it's me. Who is your SS friend? This is my son-in-law. He's fine. Now I am your son-in-law. I do not know of you. Harry Klaus, I, I was wrong, okay? You were wrong. I was wrong. And now Brahms is coming after you, don't you? Gentlemen! I'm going to get her away. And you better disappear for the rest of the war. I would not recommend you going to the German base tonight. Why not? I can't tell you. Third. What is it? Marie and Yvette. They are dead. They were killed at checkpoint. You pigs! You killed my sister! Madame, I do not shoot women or children. They do not send women to attack armed men. If you think shooting me will bring them back, then you shoot me. Because I am going back to get my fiancé away from the Gestapo. Suzette, I am sorry about your sister. But I don't want to lose my daughter, too. This man is not one of them, I assure you. Please. I'm sorry for your loss, madame. Herr Müller, where do you think that you're going? Klaus, no! Is it a little late for a romantic drive? It's him, yeah? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it that I am always surrounded by traitors? The last time this happened, I was in a cemetery. of a man to a woman has been the downfall of all great societies, yeah? I swear you get your hands off her, or I will kill you. Captain, you are in no position to talk back to a officer of the Gestapo. Take this bitch back and put her in the cell. face. The good Lord will watch over us. Why are you here, Father? The Gestapo was shooting people from the resistance, and I insisted on giving them their last rites. 
What were you thinking with such civility? You think any of these guys are coming back? Go, go, go! Oh, 
If you don't get off this beach, his greatest registration is God. Now get him over that hill. Go, go, go. Take your confession if you feel it is appropriate. I have done wrong to the one I love. I should have married you long, long ago. I should never have waited. When we get out of here, promise I will marry you. And I will marry you. First priest, we say. What are your names? It's Claudia Schiller. I'm Klaus Müller. It has been a while, but I believe it goes something like this. Claudia, will you take Klaus to be your husband, your life partner, and your true love? Will you cherish his friendship? and love him today, tomorrow, forevermore. Do you trust and honor him, laugh and cry with him in equal measures? Do you be faithful in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live? I will. And Klaus, will you take Claudia to be your wife, your life partner and your one true love? Will you cherish her friendship and love her today, tomorrow, and forevermore? Will you trust and honor her, laugh and cry with her in equal measures? And will you be faithful in good times and bad? in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live. I will. I have a small ring here, if I can get it off. Please, take this. Thank you, Father. I now pronounce you Husband and wife. What's the situation, soldier?
The Allies are advancing rapidly. They got the beaches already. The war is lost. Tons of papers and kill all the prisoners. Yeah, all of them. You can't forget that. Many have tried, but none have succeeded. You have chosen the wrong side on which to stand. I stand for the one I love. That is where I have chosen to stand. And look what problems that has served you. Today, I fear you have far greater problems than I. Alarm! Well, we made it this far. Yeah, yeah, I'll be damned if I'm gonna get killed here at this bridge. Airborne scattered all over the place. We gotta help them take it. So come on, let's move out, get going. Come on, guys, hey, let's go, let's get out of here. Let's get to the tower. Get 
Just a bunch of damn kids, Sarge. Yeah, I know. My kid's about their age. What a shame.
What was that? Will this war ever end for us? Yes, it will. Switzerland. Yeah. I remember him quite well. Can we make it to him? Claudia Schiller, from North Kisper. Enchanté. Pleasure. Now, I remember you driving something bigger than that. Ah, yes. I lost my tank, Klaus. How careless of you. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Pardon. Pardon. Of course. Klaus, we are in a lot of trouble. The yeah. Americans are on the beaches. We have lost many men. And there are probably coming about three, maybe four tanks. Right. What then should we do? They have the air as well. Cover up everything in the half flight. Get it on the woods. Let's see what we can do. That's okay. Get me the morphine. All right. We lost him. Yes, I'm sure today there will be many more. Captain! Captain! American tanks on the road. The 
trust your department. <laughs> you want to come along for the ride, Klaus? No, I'll take my chance on the road. Good luck to you after that. Yeah. Put it, help him. Take the tank, Helen. Aim it at the road. Go, Come on. go. Claudia, I need to get in the car and go. Not without you. I don't you. want you here. Give me this. Take care of her. Get the wounded in the house. Yes. Karen, come with me. Keep an eye post. When you see them, let me know. General, there's water inside. It's an aid station. It's been a long time, Captain. Good to see you again, sir. Well done. Let's have a look at that. General, we met each other. Doctor! Yabo? Would you have a look at the general's arm here, please? Quickly, though. I don't want too much time away from the men. I'll have a look at it, General. Please, sit him down and then have a look. I understand. Are you an independent? Right this way. Please, come sit down. How's he doing? He's doing well, Captain. It's not like the Eastern Front, is it? No, it is not. It's the penalty of leaving from the front. We both tried that. General, with respect, may I take the staff car and go scout the lines? It's your duty. Thank you, sir. Where are you going? I will be right back. I'm sorry to say I am very good at this. Unfortunately. Son, I need to know what we're up against before I commit my forces. What'd you find? Well, General, in this village here, I saw several pieces of German armor. Commander, where's Kurt? He's on the other side, flanking. Of course he is. There's an American tank destroyer coming up the road behind the forest. I will guide you in. My men just there on the top of that hill. I agree. We need to get some armor and some infantry in behind. Tell him to get on his horse and get some firepower on that ridge. Move.
Americans are coming up the road! Let's go! Let's go! Go. go. Oh. Take the general to safety. Hurry up! Take him out of here. Now, Take general. Go, go. Claudia. Get the walking wounded into the car and go. Get the wounded out of here. Yes. You, come with me. The tank is out of commission. What's the status on the left side? It's all gone. Americans coming down the road. We have one tank destroyer coming up the road. I'm going to get him in. Under cover. Do we have some water somewhere? in the village. Go. Turn through here. Claudia! Claudia! Come on! Come! 